Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, here's what I'm working on. I'm going to build the garland that goes over this doorway right here. I'm going to keep it kind of simple this year. I'm not gonna add like a whole bunch of greenery pieces to it like I did last year. I just wanna use the base garland because, I don't know, with everything else that's going on in here, I just wanna keep it simple and clean. So, let me show you what I have. So right here, I have this beautiful garland. I got this from Canterbury Gardens a couple years ago. It's actually a Mark Roberts garland. So I have two pieces, thankfully, but I wanna show you something right here. So each one of these has these little greenery loops in here. You can't really see it, let me pull one apart. So see, there's like a little loop there. So this is gonna be very easy for me to attach because I have a hook in the middle of the doorway. So what I'll do is, something sort of like this, and then I will do my swag. And then we can get decorating. But the first order of business is we need to light this. Now I wanna show you another tip here because if you've ever strung Christmas lights in a garland, you know that it is very, very hard to get them even. But let me show you a little something that I learned. It's actually right here. If you look on this right here see how there's three wires over here there's three wires in the middle here there are two wires so that is the middle of the light string now that's pretty much the case on any incandescent christmas lights in hundred counts so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to take this and attach it to the top up there. And that will ensure that I have an even amount of lights on each side of this garland. Oh, also, this garland kind of has a back to it before you fluff it, so like see, it's kind of spiny. So if I lay this out like this, this is kind of how my garland is gonna be laid out. So for this particular installment, the plug needs to be right there. So I gotta keep that in mind. All right, let's light this up. Hey guys, it is all lit. Now let me show you how I'm going to attach this. So dead center right here, I have a hook. I put a hook there because, well, I need that to be extra sturdy. And then on the sides here, I put a nail. Now, as you can see, there is a little bit of a height difference between where the hook is and where the nails are. I'm going to take this and kind of like bring it down a little bit and then pull it up and let it drop on each side. So I am gonna be wiring those side pieces. If I would have thought about it, I could have put a hook in there. But now let me install this. Okay, so I just got the garland hung and it does not look like anything special right now, but this is where we work the magic. So I left this spot up here for a bow, obviously. Now, as you can see, it looks kind of weird hanging down lower than the doorway, but what I'm going to do is actually place the bow like up a little bit. So that'll make you think that this garland goes up higher than it actually does. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna go through with this ribbon Oh, I love this so much. It's from Shinoda. It is these twigs with all of the glitter on them. Now, I did use this in my Christmas tree. So, this is another thing that is going to tie this in with my Christmas tree. All my decorations will be matching, so that's another thing to keep in mind. So, what I'm going to do is just kind of run this through the garland, kind of loosely. And it's also going to add some more white to this. Now, here's what I'm going to be aware of when I'm doing this ribbon. See how the branches in this are facing upward? Well, I'm going to make sure that that is the case on both sides because if I start this like this and then start the other one like this, the twigs are gonna go in different directions, which with my OCD, that is going to throw me off so bad. So now I'm just gonna run this through 
and we will go on to the next step. All right, so I just got all the ribbon done. Now, here's the little trick that I taught myself while I was doing this. Remember that hook is up there? I literally just took these and hooked them right into there. So I think that's gonna help whenever I actually get the bow put on here. I think that's gonna help when I actually get that bow finished. But do you see how it just kind of like swags in and out? Now, another thing to remember is this actually is seen from this side as well. So as you can see, I have the ribbon actually kind of twisting in here a little bit. And you know, guys, I actually didn't even use any wire. I have struggled with putting ribbon in this garland forever because I always say it is a display garland. It is not for decorating. And what I mean by that is you're pretty much stuck using it as it is. But here's what I did. See how there's these little pine cones wired in there? That is actually how I kept the ribbon in here. And you know I usually use pine cones like on the ends. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I need to wire that one. That is not a good solution there. But you know, I usually add pine cones to the ends of my ribbon anyway. So that kind of helped out and I learned something new with this garland. So. This is kind of where we're at right now. So now what I'm going to do is make a, I think I'm going to do six loop of the plaid ribbon and just kind of plop that right in the center. And then we're going to see if it needs anything else. All right, guys, there it is. So here's what I'm going to do. I looked at this for a while. I think that bow is up way too high. I have some flocked pieces here that I'm going to take and I'm going to do it right now for you guys. I'm going to shove this right underneath here. So I'm just going to add those little pieces. Added those. Now let's see. Yes, that is what it needed. Because see how it looks more full now? Huh. I really like that. This is where I'm going to stop with this garland because I don't want to add too much to it. I hope you guys picked up some helpful hints. Um, I know this isn't as extravagant as my garlands normally are, but I think once I fill in all of these areas, which is in my next video, I think it will kind of fit in better than if I would have went like all out crazy, adding ornaments and that kind of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye guys.